Uh, Professor Frederick Otieno is a towering figure and literally and figuratively, although an engineer by training and practice, is well known as an educational administrator. Professor Otieno is well known for turning around the once lethargic Masindo Mulero University of Science and Technology in Kakamega and making it a great institution again. In our weekly segment, Beyond the Norm, our reporter Jeff Khaemba brings you the other side of Professor Frederick Otieno. A professor Frederick Otieno is the vice chancellor of Masinde Muliro University of Science and Technology, now the seventh best placed, a public university in the country. A born and raised in Kisumu County, Professor Otieno's hard work and determination is what made him who he is today. Mm, traditionally in November, yeah. A professor Otieno began his early life in Kakamega County. I went to to primary and secondary school in uh, Mumias, uh, St. Peter's uh, Primary School in Mumias. Otieno went to one of the unexpected schools uh, to pursue his A-levels. For my A-levels, uh, I, I went to one of the most unexpected places. I went to Mombasa Polytechnic. We were some of the pioneer uh, A-level class there. and uh, From there, and then I went to University of Nairobi. And besides education, uh, Professor Otieno says uh, his wife came from this beautiful love letter she jotted down. Relatively, I would say one, the first serious one, uh, really I think uh, was uh, my wife now. So others are uh, what you call platonic uh, uh, relationships where you... My uh, Professor Otieno's main focus until now is education, uh, which is the key to life. He studied civil engineering at the University of Nairobi, uh, completing his degree uh, with an upper second class honors in 1979. After working for a number of years, I, I opted to pursue an academic career. So I went on to, to do my master's and PhD, and uh, after that I, I went to teach at the University of Nairobi. He says he is a man of competition and seeing no competition at the University of Nairobi. At that time, Otieno had to look for greener pastures in South Africa. I was not seeing the challenge. It was during the 1992-93 long protracted Wasu strike okay. uh, where nothing was happening at the university and, and I was getting a bit uh, bored and so forth. So I opted to go and look for more challenging things to do. And uh, initially I went to South Africa for, I went on leave of absence for two years. It is in South Africa where Professor Fredo Cotino knocked on the doors of management quietly but very persistent. When they opened, Otieno entered enthusiastically and made a major impact. A professor Otieno has served as the vice chancellor of Daban University in a foreign country of South Africa. Whether to come back uh, to Nairobi or stay on and uh, I chose to stay on and as they always say, the rest is history. I became a professor when I was uh, 40 years, a uh, full professor. So I, I was privileged to, to be at that point. I did my inaugural lecture in 1997. And uh, then I've risen to become a head of department, uh, a dean of uh, faculty of engineering for almost seven, eight years. And then I was a deputy vice chancellor. A professor Otieno rose through the academic ranks uh, from tutor to one of the most challenging jobs in the education sector. Uh, they say East West Home is the best. I, I felt as I was growing a bit older that I needed to come back home and uh, give back to my society. At the Masinde Mliro University of Science and Technology, uh, Professor Otieno has survived many battles that could have cost him employment, especially this year when he faced ESCC probe over irregular employment of staff and nepotism. But according to Otieno, uh, there are cartels working day and night to ensure his downfall. He is a man well versed with the local dialect of Kiwanga, uh, thus making it easy to survive in Kakamega County, despite him being a Luo. I speak Luo and uh, Kiwanga fluently well. Uh, and I think it's part of my upbringing uh, remember, I, I've told you that I, I grew up in Kenya, I was born here, and for us, when, when we grew up, we didn't have an, uh, we, we didn't even know that this was my tribe or this was... Uh, Professor Otieno says he reports to the office as early as 6 a.m., 
just to achieve his dream of uplifting the institution of higher learning. Uh, besides being a don, uh, Professor Ochen is a loving father. Uh, no, my family is, is grown up. So I'm, I'm a grandfather, actually. I've got a grandchild. So my, my three children are all grown up. They, they're working in South Africa. Uh, unfortunately, none of them is an engineer. They all did uh, BCom. Uh, Professor Otino worked at the research center until 1986, uh, when he returned to Newcastle to pursue a doctorate in engineering. Uh, by this time, he had wedded his wife, Florence Otino, uh, who today is the CEO of Sanditon Stara Hospital in South Africa, and the couple had young children. And my wife is a medical doctor. She's a consultant pediatrician. She works. She has a good job in Johannesburg, so we felt uh, mm -hmm. it is not good to disrupt the family, so we... We come and visit each other. Sometimes I go to Johannesburg, sometimes they come here. A professor who tenure recalls him graduating as a graduate was one of the best moments in his life. One of my high moments was when I graduated uh, with a Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering uh, because in my village I don't think there had been any graduate before me. So I was... I was making in the entire village, maybe the entire neighborhood. So I was making history in a way. Another high moment would be when, when I got married in 1982. Uh, maybe you are not yet born. So uh, that was another high moment for me. Otino places great store in being honest and integrity. Let me show you some of uh, beautiful. the beautiful birds, you know, the uh, Kanga. There is Kanga, there is Klu Klu. Klu Klu, yes. Yeah, very beautiful birds, which uh, when you have time, they just, yeah, yeah, they're lovely. Their meat is also good, but we don't uh, keep them for meat. <laughs> we keep them for the beauty and uh, uh, just to make us enjoy what we see. You can see these ones here, and then these are the male ones, the, the ones that, yeah, these are the male ones, these are the female ones. and. Uh, those are, you know, the kangas, the, the little things. Uh, wow. They can tell you if there is danger in the home, <laughs> if there is a snake or something. Wow. You can, they warn you in good time. Now, this is just my home here in Kisumu, so this is our guest house. A financial impropriety, a shadow procurement deal, a staff and student in discipline, a falling quality of teaching and learning had become the order of the day before Otieno took over the crippling Masinde Mulero University of Science and Technology. But it took the metal courage and tenacity of Professor Otieno to turn it around. Today, Masinde Mulero University is one of the best universities in Kenya. Aside from routine meetings and obligation, uh, Professor Otino has to keep track of many important things, uh, such as proposals that need to be written. Uh, by the time we visited him in Kisumu County, he was just about to fly to Nairobi for other official matters. Right. A reporter for Able TV, I'm GF Haemba, and this is Beyond the Norm.